Good morning, everyone. Welcome to New and Familiar Faces. Today, Father Wynn celebrates Mass with us. Something to think about today and during this week. When we make a mistake, there are only three things that you should ever do about it. Admit it, learn from it, and don't repeat it. Please stand as we sing together. <laughs>
By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we work eagerly in that same charity with which out of love for the world your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who made a way through the sea, a path in the great waters, who put chariots and horse in the field, and a powerful army, which lay there never to rise again, snuffed out, put out like a wick. No need to recall the past, no need to think about what was done before. See, I am doing a deed. Even now, it comes to light. Can you not see it? Yes, I am making a road in the wilderness, paths in the wilds. The wild beasts will honor me, jackals and ostriches because I am putting water in the wilderness to give my chosen people drink. The people I have formed for myself will sing my praises. The word of the Lord. Place in them. 
I am no longer trying for perfection by my own efforts. The perfection that comes from the law, but I want only perfection that comes through faith in Christ and is from God and based on faith. All I want is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and to share his sufferings by reducing the pattern of his death. That is the way I can hope to take my place in the resurrection of the dead. Not that I have become perfect yet, I have not yet won, but I am still running, trying to capture the prize for which Christ Jesus captured me. I can assure you, my brothers, I am far from thinking that I have already won. All I can say is that I forgot the past and I strain ahead for what is still to come. I am racing for the finish, for the prize to which God calls us upwards to receive in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of how frequently described how Jesus had to face unjust accusations made by the Pharisees, the ruling elders of Israel. They were upset with Jesus' teaching and they wanted to discredit him in any way they could. They wanted 
not only silence him, but to get rid of him because of his teaching <coughs> and to speak with God's authority. The scribes and the Pharisees brought to Jesus a woman who has been caught in the act of adultery. St. John writes that they wanted to test Jesus on the issue of retribution so they might have some charge to bring against him. And Jewish law treated adultery as a serious crime. It's what one of the three greatest sins punishable by death. If Jesus said the woman must be pardoned, he would be accused of breaking the law of Moses. If he said the woman must be stoned, he would lose his reputation for being the merciful friend of sinners. What did our Lord Jesus do? It is something quite unexpected. He began to write on the ground. Perhaps Jesus was writing down a list of the sinner, of sins of the accusers standing before him. Jesus now turned the charge, the challenge toward his accusers, and he said, Go ahead and stone her, but let the one who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. The Lord leaves the matter to their own conscience. When people heard this, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. When the adulterous woman is left alone with Jesus, he both expressed mercy and strongly encouraged her to not to sin again. So, brothers and sisters, we learn from the Gospel that the Pharisees wanted to destroy the sinful woman, but Jesus wanted to give her another chance. And this was Jesus' mission. He came to the earth to overcome sin and death with mercy and resurrection. To lead each one of us out of exile and into eternal life. Just as God led Israel out of Babylon and back to Jerusalem. We are Christian. We are Christ followers. We are Christ representatives in this world. If his mission was to give people another chance, then our mission has to be the same. When Jesus condemned us to love, sorry, when Jesus commanded us to love one another as I have loved you, we are called to be ambassadors of God's mercy. We are called to be instruments of the resurrection. To be so, we will have to suffer as Christ suffered before he rose from dead. We will have to die to ourselves, to deny our natural tendencies, to anger, resentment, revenge, and criticism. Therefore, each one of us need to ask ourselves, is there anyone in my life who needs another chance? Is there anyone in my life who I have given up on, but God hasn't given up on? Is there someone in my life whom I have condemned as 
the Pharisees condemned this adulterous woman. It is someone I have destroyed by gossip or criticism. Is there someone who in my heart I want to destroy? Some of us will be able to think of someone right away. Others who need to ask God for the light. But all of us need to change our thought and our action. Today we need to adopt or re-adopt God's mercy. Brothers and sisters, when Jesus comes to us in Holy Communion, let us thank Him for not condemning us. And let's promise him that with his grace we too will do our best to give everyone we encounter another chance, especially those who deserve it least.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of God for you, food of the earth, and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, food of the wine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Amen.
In a similar way, when supper was served, they took the jars, once more giving thanks. They gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the jealous of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb.
very kindly done automatic. The automatic givers, the envelopes for the Easter, Christmas, and other special uh, feast days, they're there to be picked up. We've got raffles going out there, we've got church rolls to be paid for today, and also so the euthanasia sheet, if you would mind signing it, so we can get it to Parliament to help the cause. And that's all from me, thank you. May I invite all the candidates of the First Holy Communion come forward to receive the Ten Commandments. Now we read this one together. I am the Lord your God. You shall not have other gods than me. You shall not take the name of God in vain. Remember to give Sunday holy. Honor your father and your mother. Do not kill. Do not commit impure acts. Do not steal. Do not give those witness. Do not desire wife and husband of others. Do not desire the belongings of others. Give them a Yeah. 